Hey, this is Corey from Pegasus, and this is a quick demo of the API key feature, which is new in Pegasus 21. Um, so you can see here uh, on the user's profile page, there's now this API key section here, and you can add uh, an API key. Uh, so your user will be able to sort of create their own API keys. This this will get displayed here, and it's, it's only displayed once. It's not stored in the database or anything else. Um, so if they use it, uh, they're out of luck. Um, and this is a common sort of security practice with, with API keys. Um, but you can see now if, um, so I'll copy this and then now instead of accessing uh, a, um, instead of accessing an API through uh, a username and password, which, which you probably don't wanna do if, um, if you're doing like an application to application uh, type of thing, uh, you can just paste in that API key and it will, um, return the results for you. Um, yeah, so pretty simple. Obviously, if uh, you know if I use the wrong key, it's not going to work. Um, and um, if I revoke the key, uh, which you can do, it's, uh, it's also no longer going to work. Um, behind the scenes, there's, uh, there's a fair amount you can extend on this. Uh, I, I wanted to keep the, the initial implementation simple, especially from the UI perspective. Um, but you know, you could you can add and extend these a lot more. Um, this uses a library called uh, Django REST Framework API Keys, um, and there's just a couple steps that you need to uh, do to modify a particular API to to support API key based access. So I've I've created some uh, helpers and utility functions to to help you with that process and I've, I've documented it here for both um, API views and for um, view sets. So yeah, that's the feature. Uh, it's a relatively small one, but hopefully it's useful.